What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Watch It in Action. I'm Bows Phoenix and today we're going to be taking a look at the Grenier Hammer, the Jack Katag. This is one of my favorite melee weapons in the game and it also has the second highest base melee damage of any melee weapon and it's tied with the Sendo Prime. So War and then Jack Katag. So Jack Katag is pretty much the second highest base damage melee weapon in the game and not only that, this weapon is extremely impressive. It possesses the ability to knock down enemies with normal swings. It has amazing range on its slam attack, which sends enemies flying. And if you're using the blast uh, element as well, it's going to send them through the freaking ceiling. So even if you don't kill somebody with this, you're going to send them out of bounds, which pretty much kills them anyway, if you can send them out of bounds. So I've put together a, a build for this, and I feel like the build I'm using is a little unconventional because this weapon is... Primarily thought of as a status weapon, I guess, is what some people kind of, you know, lean towards. But what I've put together here is actually a crit build for the Jack Attack. And as you can see, it's very impressive. And, and you know, you, you build up the Berserker, it swings really quickly, and uh, it's just amazingly fun to use. So, that being said, let's take a look at the build real quick and see what we got here. So, right off the bat, we're going to notice there's no Forma on here. I don't really... There's, a, there's very few weapons that I use Forma on for melee weapons, so... There's, I, I don't really see the need to. I mean, with, with, with the build here, I mean, it works. It works at high level, it works at low level. I mean, it's, it's pretty great. So, uh, the stance we're using is Crushing Ruin. And interesting fact about this, the Jack Attack, when you're using the actual Jack Attack skin and not the, the Rhino, the, not the Palatine skin like I'm using, the Jack Attack actually has a special animation for this. It's basically a hammer with a jet engine attached to it. And the jet engines will flare up when you're doing the Shattering Village combo, which is really cool. So that's that's pretty unique about that. I recommend using this stance as it's super fun. It's got amazing crowd control. Uh, it's just it's just a great stance to use, especially if you can master that shattering village combo. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But true steel is going to be where our critical chance comes from. We're going to be using this. We're just we just want to get critical chance. I'm not really worried about critical multiplier because I want to proc berserker. Berserker is going to give us attack speed increase every time we get a critical hit, and true steel is going to help us up our critical hit chance to 24%. Now. This may not seem like a lot, but it's actually very reliable, and I'll show you here in a second, but Spoiled Strike is going to increase our damage at the cost of attack speed. Some people, you know, don't like to run this mod, but I do if you're running it with Fury, especially on a Berserker build, it's not going to matter, because only the first couple swings are going to be slow, and then you start chaining together combos, you get your Berserker proc, and you're good to go after that. So, um, Pressure Point is going to be where most of our melee damage comes from, it's just 120% melee damage, it's pretty awesome. Uh, and then I got two elements here. We got Shocking Touch and Fever Strike for Corrosive, which it's an impact weapon. You know, I mean, it doesn't... I, you can use whatever element you want, really. I just I just default to Corrosive when I don't know what to put on because I test things out in the Void a lot and, you know, stuff like that because it's considered in-game content or whatever. But uh, Primed Reach is going to increase our range for this, and it also helps with the Slam Attack, which is really awesome. This thing is extremely impressive with Primed Reach. Not only do the hits get an increase, but like I said, the Slam Attacks do as well, and that's that's pretty nice. We want that. Uh, Fury is going to increase our attack speed, which is, uh, you know, just another, you know, pair that with Spoiled, Spoiled Strike. I always run Fury when I'm running Spoiled Strike, so, uh, get those two together. So, you know, all that taken into consideration, let's take a look at the stats here. We see that the Jack Attack primarily does impact damage with a little bit of puncture and a tiny bit of slash. So, mostly impact on this one. Some people might use Primed Heavy Trauma, but I don't really go for physical mods. I don't think they're, they're very good. I think Elemental is always going to win out over physical damage, so... You know, take that into consideration when you're building. I usually use, you know, something like this. I don't really ever use the physical mods, but uh, we got pretty good uh, leap attack, wall attack, spin attack, stuff like that. 25% status. You can beef this status up if you want. You can actually use two 260% uh, two elemental mods, but that's going to bring down your DPS. And what I wanted to focus on here is a crit build. So you can build either status or crit, whichever one you like most. But crit is going to carry you further into end game uh, than status will a lot of times. So... Uh, let's take a look at the build here real quick. Let's let's go ahead and try this out on some guys, and I'll show you how this thing works. So we're going to use our, our little Corrupted Butchers, because we gave them a couple days off last time. For the last couple videos, we've been using other enemies, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just send these dudes flying. <laughs> you notice that it, they, just, they just go everywhere. And, you know, those slam attacks are going to help a lot with getting your Berserker proc off, but you see how fast this thing attacks. I mean, it's just insane. And then the only the only problem with this attack speed is it makes it kind of hard to get that that crush that village uh, that one combo off this one right. Let me see if I can do it real quick. There we go. This one right here. This is the the graphics card wrecker is what they might as well just call it because you're using this hammer with Mirage. 
uh, the results are uh, pretty splendid. You get a little fireworks show there, but I mean, you guys see this thing is incredibly powerful. It's it's just tearing through these guys, throwing them all over the place. And if you're not killing with it, you're sending enemies flying and you're opening them up to ground finishers, which is really nice. A little extra added utility for this weapon. The only thing I want to show you here is the combos for the stance real quick. So you have your E spam, you have the Shattered Village combo. That's the graphics card record right there. It's just EE, -E, pause, and then triple E. Pretty easy. I'll show you how to execute that. Raging Whirlwind is a pretty good combo when uh, you're, you know, your uh, Berserker is proccing too fast and you can't really get these other combos off or you haven't practiced them well enough. This is a really solid combo to use. It's got a ground slam at the end of it, which sends enemies flying really nice there. Winding Temper is going to be your backwards combo, so you just hold backwards on the keypad and use that to execute it. And I'll show you how to do these real quick. So you got your E-Spam right here. Pretty, uh, you know, nothing super amazing about that. And you actually see where the hammer is actually hitting with a little spark on the ground, that primed reach is actually giving us a lot of extra range, but I want you guys to look at that one more time. Let's see that real quick. See little sparks on the ground? That's where our hammer is actually hitting. That's where the hitbox has been extended to, so keep that in consideration. Uh, the next one, the Shattering Village, is the one that you're going to want to use a lot. You're going to want to practice this one. And as you use the weapon a lot, you'll get used to doing this. I'm trying to talk and do it at the same time, but uh, let's see. There we go. And then you just keep spamming E and he'll finish off the combo. So once you get that, you slam it down and then you pause for a second. And then once you do, once he does that, that roundabout thing, you know you've got it. And then just keep spamming E for the home stretch and you're good to go. The right click combo is a lot easier. You just hold down right click and just spam E. And it's got that ground slam at the end which throws enemies flying. Super nice crowd control on that one. Very, very, very nice crowd control. And then our backwards, you just hold down or, you know, S if you're playing on PC. And he does that little spin attack. The only thing I don't like about, and I've said this a couple times, the only thing I don't like about backwards combos now is they don't move you forward like they used to. You used to actually uh, move forward while you were attacking and holding down, but you don't do that anymore. You actually move backwards. So that makes down combos pretty much useless in my opinion. Although this one is really cool. It doesn't really have a ground slam. There's no like super crowd control capabilities with it. And, you know, it is what it is. But... This is the Jack Attack, guys. This is one of my favorite melee weapons in the game. I love this thing. If I'm not using War or, you know, uh, Mios or something like that or Broken War, I'm pretty much using this just because it has amazing crowd control. It's good for a lot of different situations. Even though most of the damage comes in the form of impact, this thing is still a monster. But you can check out this build on BousePhoenix.com. I've got that up there for you as well if you don't want to watch the video over and over again just to see the build. Uh, it's going to be up there. I'll put a link in the description for you. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you at the next video.